and welcome to Mondays with Marlo. This is such an interesting topic. You know, as an actress, we are, all actors are really afraid of the idea that we might have stage fright. And for most people, the idea of getting up in front of an audience, getting up in front of a classroom, making a toast at a wedding, you can get kind of a little antsy if, you know, maybe I can't do it or maybe I'll panic. Well, this guest today, this fabulous guest, who's the most confident looking man I've ever seen on television, ABC newscaster, Dan Harris, you actually had a panic attack right on the screen and everybody could see it. Yes. And you covered it so beautifully, but what, what was happening inside? Were you getting the spilkies, as we say? Uh, yes, spilkies <laughs> would be uh, a gentle way to describe it uh, and would be uh, comfortable with my Yiddish speaking grandmother. Um, I was, this was, 2004 and I was filling in on a little show that we do on ABC News called Good Morning America and um, I, by the way I, I later asked the research department to find out how many people were watching and <laughs> they told me 5.019 million. <laughs> oh no not today. <laughs> so not a good day to be to, to freak out but I um, was a couple of seconds into my spiel uh, of uh, another Yiddish word um, of uh, reading the news headlines of the morning. I was the guy who was going to come on at the top of each hour and read the news headlines, and I just lost it. Uh, my heart started racing, my lungs seized up, I couldn't breathe, my mind was racing, my palms were sweating, my mouth dried up, I just couldn't talk. And as you said, it, on camera, a lot of people, when they see it, they think it looks pretty mild, but for me, it was like the universe was collapsing in on me, and I had to quit right in the middle. I, oh, you did it! it. You did it beautifully. Thank you. Well, if I didn't, here's the thing. I, I appreciate that. If if I hadn't had the two main hosts of the show, oh, you would have been a dead man. It would. I would have ripped my mic off and run away. Oh, well, you're right. I mean, that's what it would have been. Ab absolutely. Yeah. Had you ever had one before? I'd had milder versions of it, uh, but there were specific reasons why this one got way out of control and and um, ended up being the worst that I had ever. Had. So I, I joined ABC News when I was really young, I was 28 years, 28 years old, and I was really ambitious. And not long after I got to ABC, 9-11 happened. And I kind of volunteered to go overseas and cover whatever happened next without really thinking about the psychological consequences. And so I spent a lot of time in Iraq and Afghanistan and Israel and the West Bank and Gaza. And uh, I got, I think I, I kind of got addicted to it. And when I came home, from a, a really long run in Iraq in the summer of 2003, I got depressed. And I didn't even know I was depressed, but I was having trouble getting out of bed. I, I felt like I had a low grade. Because real life was boring compared to the... Exactly. Yeah. I was, I was basically having a withdrawal from the adrenaline. Uh -huh. I, I, I know this only in hindsight. Um, but what I, since at the time I was ignorant of what was really going on, I did a, such a dumb thing. I started to self-medicate with recreational drugs including cocaine and ecstasy. And um, after I had the panic attack, I went to a doctor and he asked me a bunch of questions to try to figure it out. And one of the questions was, do you do drugs? And I said, yeah. And he said, okay, moron, mystery <laughs> solved. And, oh, really? And he pointed out that even though I, had, I, wasn't doing, I wasn't doing it that often, but it was enough to raise the level of adrenaline artificially in my, in my uh -huh. brain and it primed me to have this panic attack. Wow. So not, not fun. Thank you.